FOD stands for foreign object debris and also foreign object damage. So the damage caused by foreign object debris. On an airside environment, FOD is objects that can be blown by aircraft and into aircraft services or sucked into aircraft engines and cause significant damage to aircraft. A direct cost of the damage is around $4 billion. The direct and indirect costs of FOD range up to $12 billion, and that would include the delays to flights, cancelled flights, as well as the direct costs, which would be replacing engines or repairing engines or checking different aircraft surfaces. The best way to think of a runway, runway operating environment is we want it to be as clean as a surgeon's table, free of all debris, free of all objects. Anything that's not there and intended for safe aircraft operations should be removed and kept out of the runway operating environment. So the Tarsier system works continuously around the clock, scanning the runway for foreign object debris. When the system detects an object, it alerts the user to the presence of that object on the runway. And the user is able then to use a camera to identify what the FOD is, to assess the risk that that FOD may present, and to dispatch appropriate personnel to that hazard and remove it from the runway operating environment. The key thing that the technical systems have got to do is give the airport operator the information they need to assess the risk and make the right decision. Therefore, with our system, as soon as there's some debris on the runway, the operator will be alerted there's something there, he'd be told exactly where it is, and the camera system will give him a visual image that would allow him to assess that risk and make an informed decision. On the safety side, we now know when FOD is present in the runway operating environment. We can respond personnel to retrieve or remove that FOD and minimize any exposure aircraft have to that FOD. On the efficiency side, knowing precisely where the FOD is located on the runway, we can again dispatch personnel to retrieve it in an expeditious manner, thus avoiding delays to aircraft arrivals and aircraft departures on that runway. On the environmental side of it, by reducing delays and reducing downtime on the runway, we're saving the air carriers the burning of fuel unnecessarily while they hold in the air or are delayed on the ground from departure. And if we tie all that together, we have a financial gain. So the system itself has many benefits to all users of the system, and particularly to the passengers that are flying in those aircraft. The Tarsier system's success will be highlighted by a single event in its second year of operation at the airport. During that event, the Tarsier system alerted us to the presence of FOD on our south runway. The FOD identified and picked up was a long steel grounding wire from a fueling truck. We were able to dispatch someone to retrieve it before any other aircraft were exposed to the risk from that cable. That one single event may have paid for Tarsier in its entirety, and it proved to us that we'd made the right investment.